Whew, sun is so bright. Hey guys, today, oh, right, shall we? Guys, go you. Today, I thought I would do plants I'm keeping in my baby's nursery collection video. Quick note I do plan to put up like shelves, like one here one here and there will definitely be plants there as well but I just have a hard time committing to putting holes in the walls. I have big plans in my head but they don't always get executed at all so <laughs> we're gonna do a plant tour as it stands right now. I am not by any means saying these plants aren't toxic. My baby is not mobile yet. Well he can kind of scoot around and roll around. He is very far away from a point in time that I would feel comfortable letting him just free roam around his room. So right now he is always being supervised. I never just let him be by himself. Once he gets to the point that he can like crawl around and I'm not watching him, I will reevaluate and move plants around. But for now I'm comfortable. I'm not going to let him free roam my house because I know I have a lot of toxic plants. All right, let's just get into it. Okay, so when you first walk into the room, this is what you see. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Full view, I think it's so cute. A little bit empty over here, but like I said, I'm gonna put up shelves. And I guess we'll just start here. <laughs> hey, buddy. So this here is a regular ZZ plant. This is actually one of the first plants I ever had um, like that wasn't propagated. My sister bought this for me for Christmas. It's just a regular ZZ. Um, this is pulled like 10 feet back from the south window. It has grown quite a bit more quickly since I've had it here. I used to have it in super, super low light and now it's growing a lot faster, but it was only like two stems when my sister gave it to me. And yeah, I really like it a lot. So there's that, look at those cute little potatoes. All right, so then here is a, they're called Lucky Bamboo Plants. It's, it's actually a type of Dracaena, Dracaena, I don't know how to say it. But yeah, I recently hauled this in a video you guys may have seen. So yeah, I mostly bought it because I thought this was really cute. And I do also really like that in it as well. But the little fish pot is so cute. So yeah, there's where that is. This is his like changing table. Okay, then moving you on over here, we have this Ikea stand. And at the very top of it, we have a large golden pothos, my largest golden pothos. I tied it to this mirror that I thrifted. Um, I was hoping it would like grow, place that up there so it'll grow the way I want it to. I was hoping it would like grow, grow around through this and like end up over here and trail down. But so far that hasn't happened. We'll see what happens in the future. But I just have it in this wicker waste basket, which I also thrifted and it goes all the way to the floor. You can see it reaching out right here. So that's really exciting. And it also grows into this basket here. I These are toys that Kai doesn't play with as often. Well, he plays with these, these two a lot, but these ones he doesn't play with that often yet. This one he does actually. Um, but I have to put it in here for safekeeping because my dog likes to chew on this toy for some reason. It is growing through the basket. I don't know where it's really going to go. I may need to like tie it up so that it doesn't um, take up this whole thing so I can still utilize the stuff in here. Uh, anyway, yeah, there's that golden pothos. Oh, and I will say some of the leaves are quite big and they are yellowing because it got, they're like that because it's a south window, like I said, and it got sunburned actually. So... Yeah, but all the new growth looks fine. I did move it back from the window a little bit since that happened. Okay, so then here we have a watermelon Dishidia. And this puppy was so sad for a long, long time. I put it in a south window. It was also sad there. And then I moved it here and it's doing much better. It actually has growth and whatnot coming out of it. So I think it is gonna be okay, but I think it's so cute. I just have it in this candle container. It's like in a nursery pot in a candle container so that I can just add water and it can kind of soak up whatever water it needs from this little container. Turn it how it was facing. There's what that little situation looks like. And moving you down here, we have a Mandula Pothos, which I got from like Home Depot or Lowe's. Really cute. It's very, very uh, filling out now. I have it sitting in a little plastic container so that the excess water doesn't drip on my carpet or ruin this wood thing. But I think it looks really cute here. It's filling out very, very nicely. Yeah, and it's just off to the side of the south window like I showed you. 
Um, and it looks like it's gonna start like climbing back here, which is exciting. This leaf is just beautiful. There's that, okay. And then here's that whole like shelf setup. And really like you can see, that pothos is doing it. Doing the most, climbing up this and peeking out down here on the floor. So I'm excited to see where this ends up growing. And like I said, I hope this to, like starts growing all over this thing because I don't think that'll look so cool. And if it could fill in and like hang down a little bit, it look cool in this mirror. Turning you here on the ground in this little wicker basket, Hoya Carnosa. This is a big, big basket. It's actually in an eight inch basket and it is popping out new growth. It really likes a lot of sunlight. It can tolerate lower light, but if you want faster growth, needs a bit higher light and loves it. Kind of shooting off in every direction. I need to get like a trellis or something, but I don't know. I just haven't found one I like yet. So I'm just kind of letting it hang. It's reaching in every direction. You can like see there, Hoya Carnosa. Then moving you up into the window, this is my Hoya, or my Hoya, it's not a Hoya, it's a Philodendron Burl Marks. But I actually showed this video in a plants I regret buying. And now it's all of a sudden growing a lot. And I really like the way it looks there. It is a little bit wonky, but I do like wonky plants. Before it just had these two leaves though, but now that it's actually putting out more leaves, I like it a lot more. And the new growth is looking a lot healthier than that old growth. I did treat this um, with hydrogen peroxide in a video last year. And ever since then, it started doing much, much better. So I'm happy about that. And it seems to be pretty content here now. It's got a growth point there, a couple there, um, one right there. So I think it's, I think it's much better now. So this is a, I forget the name of this cactus, something geo, something, something. This is from Plant Me Ashley. I think it's so cute. I recently watered it. So it kind of like will squish down and not be as circular when it's thirsty. The baby just fell. Let me put him back up. Okay, so as I was saying, when this gets thirsty, it'll start looking a little bit mushy. Well, not mushy, but it just like deflates. So it'll like, it looks like it widens this way and shrinks this way. Puffed up again. This is such a cool plant. I love it a lot. Thank you so much, Ashley. This is my golden fire aloe, which you guys know if you've watched any of my favorites video. This is in pretty much all of them because I love it a lot. I think it has such beautiful color and I love a plant that gives babies generously and this one definitely does there's pretty much babies all along the outside uh so i need to actually repot this kind of soon i'm thinking yeah there's that little section what it looks like i will say we don't have a yard yet a lot of people give me crap for it but it's not as easy as slapping down some sod graded so that snow and rain does not flood our house and then we have to have a sprinkling system put in and then we can put in grass. So then swinging you along over here, we have, this is, there was no ID on this when I bought it, but I think it's one of those stinky lifesaver plants. Correct me if I'm wrong or if you know what this is, it's actually thirsty and you can tell because it gets like these wrinkles when it's thirsty. But yeah, I really like the way this looks. Really cool, weird plant. I think it might be getting a little bit too much sunlight because it gets these dried tips, but it still keeps pushing new growth. So I think it'll be fine. Uh, next to that, I have a Hoya, variegated Hoya carii, which just recently, I've had this for almost a year now, and just recently it has started putting out new leaves. So um, this is actually a new growth point. So these three leaves are new, which I am very, very excited about. I actually just have it in moss with sphagnum moss with worm castings on top and I'll let the moss dry out completely and then I'll add more water into this little mug thing. Uh, I think it's so cute. And right next to that, this is actually the watering bottle I'll just fill up. I make a lot of trips back and forth to water all these plants so I'll just fill this up, water a plant, go fill it up again water another plant and so on. So I just keep it in this little thing here. And next to that, I have my Jade, which I absolutely love. And it absolutely loves it here as well. I'm kind of thinking I'll get blooms from this next year. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I really hope it happens. Uh, all right, so here's the full window that I just showed you. I think it looks so cute, all these plants here. 
Moving you down to the ground, I have a Hoya Chelsea here, which is very big. This is actually in a six inch pot. It is growing a lot. It was not trailing at all when I bought this, but now it suddenly is pushing out all sorts of new growth, although it hasn't bloomed for me. So I'm hoping it does at some point. Now that it's pushing all this new growth, I really, really love this plant. The texture is just beautiful. So yeah, I have it in this little wicker thing on the floor and I like it. Oh, and then this is in a, just a regular like nursery pot that I bought it in. Um, and then I have these little plastic thing, this little plastic thing underneath so it can catch any of the excess water as I'm watering it. And when I know this guy is thirsty is I just like fill the leaves. If I can see a lot of veins on the leaves, like here's what a leaf normally looks like. Very like succulent and plump when a lot of the leaves start looking like this and feeling really, really, um, oh, there's actually a good example of a well-watered leaf. When they start getting flimsy and I can see a lot of, bless you, and I can see a lot of veins like this is when I'll go ahead and water. And just when like, maybe like a third of the plant starts looking like that, I'll go ahead and add some water to it. So yeah, the leaves are just so chubby and cute. I love them so much. And these ones are starting to sun stress, so. Yes, and I love a good sun-stressed Hoya. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's definitely my cup of tea. I love when they turn dark like this. Okay, so moving you up to this little wicker table, which used to be my coffee table in my old house. I actually thought I was gonna get rid of this. Glad I didn't, because I really like it in this corner of the room. Um, I guess here we'll start with this. This is my, oh, it's actually thirsty. This is my Pilea Pepper Moides, which has been throwing babies quite a bit. Very happy about it. This was kind of sad. I thought I killed it a while ago. I think it had root rot, but it's finally coming back. I do need to water it a little bit more now that I have it in the south window. And the way you know it needs watered is the leaves kind of curl like this and they'll droop down a little bit. Like you can see, this is pretty droopy. I am going to go ahead and water. And this is in a, an Ikea pot that was supposed to be a cover pot, but I added a drainage hole, which I really regret now because I have it sitting on this little tray thing that I thrifted to catch any of the excess water. I just wish I wouldn't have even cut a hole in that to begin with, but it is what it is. And then just in front of that, I have this little llama planter, which is so cute. One of Ryan's friends came and visited us in the hospital when we had Kai, gave us some flowers in this, and I love that it came with this cute little cover pot. There's no hole in here, so I'm actually just water propagating some global green pothos. I don't think this is a very um, like well-known variety. I don't know, I could be wrong about that, but yeah, I just have it propagating in water down there. Oh, I actually need to add more water, but look at all those roots. I'm gonna be able to pot this up here soon, but I actually kind of like the way it looks in this pot. So yeah, my vibe for Kai's room is colorful and nature, boho, hippie, I don't know. And I like that this is just colorful and kind of weird and very like kiddish. Oh no, I really like it. And yeah, that plant seems pretty happy in there. So, I mean, I guess it's kind of hidden by this monstera leaf. Maybe I'll trim this back because this is kind of overtaking. And I like the fact that this monstera is growing up this way, but maybe not necessarily out like this because then it blocks the rest of it. So I could like cut here and propagate it. Maybe I'll do that because it looks a little bit awkward. All right, anyway, moving onward. This is a philodendron pedatum, pedatum. And I got this from Arian Botanicals a few years ago. It had major root rot when I got it, but it has come back, putting out quite a bit more mature leaves now, which I'm happy about. And it's kind of climbing up the aerial roots of this Monstera, which I think looks really cool. Just have it in regular terracotta on a terracotta tray, water catcher thingy. <laughs> oh, that leaves pushing through there. I love it. And it really likes living in here. Oh, that is just such a cool shape. Yeah, this is what the immature leaves look like. Just kind of regular. They kind of look like, <laughs> you know what they look like. Um, and then they turn into this as the plant matures, which is really cool. Moving you up is my big boy Monstera. So this is the Monstera. A lot of people don't believe me that I cut this completely back. Beginning of summer. I cut this back beginning of summer and it has 
really, really grown since then. I just cut this back because I kept having so many issues with pests that I was like, I do not want to deal with this. Uh, it had so many pests I did not want to deal with. I will say I had this outside when I cut it and it was just kind of like I was either going to lose the plant to pests or I was gonna cut it and it was gonna either come back better or just die, but it was gonna die anyway because it had so many bugs. Um, and cutting it back helps have less like to focus on. So there was less to focus on. I really just had to focus on treating the soil and the root system, which I did with hydrogen peroxide. And I sprinkled diatomaceous earth over top of it. And it has made quite the comeback. So yeah, like I said, I did have it outside, which is why there's some damage on the leaves. And this does get Southern light. It's right next to the window here. And it was outside for a few months as it grew back. So that's why some of the new growth has come back so large. Your plant isn't necessarily gonna come back so large if you just cut it back and it's not getting adequate lighting. But if it gets adequate lighting, it'll grow back quite big. But really it is just a matter of giving it that lighting. Look at how thick this stem is. Wow. I have a Monstera siltipicana up here in a macrame kind of terracotta pot. I didn't feel like repotting it, so but it does have a tray it does have a drainage hole and I didn't want to put just like a catch thing, one of those majigs, water catcher thing underneath it in this and I wanted some color to hang so I just put it in this cover pot in the terracotta and I kind of like the way it looks how it's like two-toned now and I'm hoping I'll get more growth from this so I can propagate it a lot because it's such a beautiful plant so yeah it'd be cool if I could propagate it quite a bit more those are picture frames I really want to hang but I can't commit to hanging things on the wall like I said there's a baby. And then the last plant I have in here is in this little three tier thing, which we put clean sheets and towels in here usually, but there's a lot of laundry to do. So, so that's what this is. And I put my Syngonium, variegated Syngonium Albo here. Uh, it has this really cute trellis. I will link. It did take me like three months to get this trellis, but it was super, super cheap and came in a pack of like 10, I think. Uh, but yeah, the plant is really happy here. It's kind of coming in green, so I think I may need to propagate back down to where there's a lot of variegation on the leaves. Although this new, new leaf has quite a bit of variegation, so maybe it's going to come back on its own. But if you notice your plants aren't coming in as variegated like this, if you cut them back to the point where there is a lot of variegation on the plant, it helps promote more variegation going forward, if that makes sense. And I'm sorry, my baby is very chatty in the background. There is that plant and it's kind of reaching toward the sun. So maybe when I put a shelf up here, I will end up putting this on the shelf so it can be a bit closer to this south window since it is kind of leaning a little bit. But I think it's a really cute plant. Oh, and I have these little tags I've been adding them to my plants slowly but surely, um, and they are my favorite. They're bamboo. I think they're really cute. Just if you can't remember plant names like me, it really helps make things a lot easier. So I will link those at the top of the comments and also in the description box if you wanna pick some up for your planties. I think it's under $10 for 30 tags. I love it. This room just instantly I come in here and it makes me happy. So anyway, those are all the plants I have in my baby nursery. I really like the way it looks, except this wall's a little bit empty, but when I add a shelf, maybe I'll do an update. We may never add a shelf though because commitment issues. Um, all right, so yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, that's my baby's room. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Busy do love the baby.